Hey guys, this is Saint Aiden. Welcome back. And this time I've got with me a factory sealed copy of Vice Project Doom. This was released by Sammy. Um, and Sammy wasn't really one of the more well-known developers for the NES. They um, only released uh, like 11 games over uh, maybe a three-year period, something like that, I think. Um, and most of their games were really, quite frankly, garbage. Um, Amagon was one of the early ones, I think, and they also did uh, other unnotable games like Silkworm, Thundercade, uh, Arkista's Ring. Um, but then they also did this game, which is Vice Project Doom, and in spite of the kind of... Uh, cheesy artwork on the cover. Um, I, my understanding is this is actually a, a pretty fun game. I've never played it before, but um, the stuff I've heard from people who have is that it's actually uh, a pretty good platformer, <laughs> and um, one thing I can say in its defense is that it was uh, like the number one feature in volume 24 of Nintendo Power. It got the cover and uh, you probably already know that Nintendo Power did not feature garbage games on the cover. I mean they did good stuff. So this is actually one of the few uh, NES games that got a Nintendo Power cover that I have not ever played which is um, kind of unfortunate, but I guess now that I own this game maybe I will get to uh, remedy that. So anyway, this box is in really good shape. The seal is still completely intact. Um, almost no damage on the thing at all. There's uh, one corner here that looks like maybe it's a little rounded and then um, gosh, I think that's that's about it not much in the way of dents in the box, that kind of thing. It's in uh, mint condition, I would say. So, <clears throat> I'm going to open this thing up. Here we go. Um, maybe. Okay. So this is Vice Project Doom. By the way, guys, this uh, <laughs> storyline in this thing something you'd only get from uh, the 80s and 90s. So you're like a vice cop, hence the name Vice Project Doom, and you're trying to track down the distributor of alien drugs. Yeah, pretty crazy. Um, so let's get this thing open carefully. And this thing is mint, okay. So let's make sure we pulled everything out there. Yep, no more. What do we got in the way of inserts? Well, we've seen this one before. You're ready to become a power animal. I'm not going to talk much more about that. This thing is really common. Um, here's our epilepsy warning again. Here we've got our American Sammy Corporation registration card. Thank you for purchasing this game from American Sammy. Okay, we've got a poster. What would we do without a poster of... What's it a poster of? <laughs> Ultimate Basketball. Oh man. Yep, so this was another game that they released. I. I've never played this game either. You know, honestly, I'm not sure I've ever played any games by Sammy. Um, I'm not going to say much about that. I, I don't know anything about Ultimate Basketball. I've never played it. I, I'm not really even that big on sports games. But hey, I've got a perfect poster here for Ultimate Basketball. If I ever become a fan, I can put it up on my wall. So here's uh, here's the instruction book. Gosh, these black and white instruction books. Shatterhand was like that. I don't know what to do, man. All these uh, 
all the original instruction books for the NES, like for all those black box games, I, man, I think they were all in color. I know Zelda um, always had really nice instruction manuals. Here's the cartridge. And it is a, oh man, look at that. Look at that, guys. This sticker, the label on this thing is just popping right off on top. Completely disconnected. Wonder if I can push that back down. And that was in a factory sealed game. Wonder if it'll stay. I don't know. Alright, so anyway, here's Vice Project Doom. Um, I'm looking forward to playing it. Like I said, I've, I've heard it's really good even though I've never played it. This is, uh, could very well be the only notable game that Sammy ever released. I don't know. Um, anyway, I guess we'll see you guys next time.